Charles Chucky Russell was a member of the Grand Street crew and brother-in-law of the crew's alleged boss, Albi Vina. In 1992, Russell was sentenced to 35 years in prison for an aggravated criminal sexual assault conviction, but, miraculously, he was acquitted of attempted murder in that case and released on parole in March of 2011. In 2016, ATF agents picked up some scuttlebutt from an informant that Russell had been bragging about being a top-ranking member of the mob. At a meeting in a coffee house on Taylor Street, Russell told the ATF informant he was the head of a prolific gang of burglars called the Bishop Boys that was responsible for hundreds of burglaries and home invasions over several years. A while later, Russell met the informant along with an undercover agent at the Boundary Tavern and Grill in Wicker Park, where Russell was recorded talking about plans for an upcoming robbery of a man in his 70s who Russell said had $750,000 in cash and a safe in his home. He added that he'd been casing the home for years and had an ex-girlfriend who was on the inside and knew the location of the safe and other valuables. If he doesn't open it, we're going to make him open it, Russell told the men. They always open for me, believe me. I bring my butane torch, put it on the bottom of their feet, they open it. Nothing gets my juices flowing like putting a gun to someone's head, taking their stuff, and making it mine. It will be a great Christmas, I'm telling you. Russell wanted the two men to help him in the robbery. He said that he would equip them with the proper tools to avoid detection, including police scanners, masks, and a change of clothes. He said their biggest worry would be if the victim had a heart attack, because if he drops dead, we got a murder. He also showed the ATF agent a photo of a car riddled with bullets, then handed the agent an Illinois driver's license of a black man, saying, he's deceased. Agents confirmed the man on the driver's license was shot in November 2016. His killing remains unsolved. Russell, who was 70 years old, died of prostate cancer before he could be sentenced in connection with the robbery plot. At the time, he was living in a condo owned by his girlfriend, Patricia Spilatro, a relative of Anthony and Michael Spilatro.